All right, we're going live right now. Those two names. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. We are here for the finals of the Sunday Night Sweeper at Cole Rain Bowl. We've got a little special treat here with us tonight. Uh, Greg Lothian is going to sit in and do the play by play with me tonight. Hello, Greg. How are you? Great to get for you to get out here and, and see everybody tonight. And, uh, It was, uh, yeah, they bowled on a 40-foot 40, 40 pattern, uh, which I wasn't really sure what to call it because I didn't have the name for it. So we just named it Yikes. We figured it was perfect for what, for what it looked like on paper, but mm -hmm. score-wise it wasn't so bad. Uh, you know, you had to make good shots. You had to get to the right part of the lane, but, you know, that's pretty much any pattern. So uh, we've got uh, Mitch Hain and Matt Staninger are going to shoo it up here for the finals. and. That's right. We don't grade him. That's right. His opponent might, but still strike. See, we had 61 bowlers tonight, and it was <clears throat> it was kind of a who's who of Cincinnati bowling in the for the several years past and current for some of the folks that were here tonight. It was a, a great crowd, but there's not too many nights that you come here on a Sunday night and you have. Joe Dwortman, Tim Weisbrod, Brian Himmler, Greg, Jeff Fair, and Ken Abner all in the building at the same time. And then you throw in, you know, Matt Sandinger's regional, uh, Kyle Cook and Rick McCormick were both here. So you had, you know, three current professional bowlers here. And uh, and the other host of many, it was it was pretty awesome to see. So. Yeah, you know, it's a good segue into our uh, our scores for the night. And then I'm, once we get through the scores, we're going to sit back and just let you talk. And, you know, if you got any stories you want to throw out there or just <clears throat> some of the memories from bowling for, for you. I, you said, hey, you haven't bowled in about 20 years now. Uh, but Greg was by far one of the best, especially in situations like this. You know, one-on-one -on -one match play, uh, it was always fun to watch. You know, it was a couple years behind you, but it was definitely somebody, you were definitely a blast to watch. So. Uh, absolutely. Uh, tonight's high qualifier, since we are bringing up one of the ladies that bowled this evening, Robin Wilson shot 7.49 in qualifying tonight. Uh, Robin's one of our Cincinnati snipers. Uh, so congratulations to you, Robin. And our uh, mystery doubles winners were F Dean Stewart and Collier Pavey with 4.87. And tonight, low to make the cut out of the 61 bowlers we did cut to the top 32 was Derek Engelen with 578. So pretty reasonable score to make the cut. I guess I guess I guessed it early. I was pretty close. Lower end will play a little tighter, so it might have taken away some of those outsides down on the lower end. But that's just the the makeup of the building, yeah. Well, there was uh, there was someone in the round of eight that had bowled all the way on the high end all day long and went down there and, and hated them. But people that were bowling down there all day liked it better up there than up here. It's just a matter of the a draw at that point, you know, really is what it boils down to. Uh, we do want to make sure that we thank our sponsor tonight, Anthony Magyar, uh, Anthony's Timber Tree Service. He, uh, he's been sponsoring for the for the last month. Anthony, I definitely want to thank you for, for being part of the sweeper with us and helping give these guys some good payouts week in and week out. So we appreciate your last month of sponsorship, and I'm sure we'll be working with you here, you know, in the near future again. So uh, hats off to you. I appreciate your help. Um, if anybody's looking for any sort of tree service, Anthony is the guy to call. He We used him at the house a couple times already, and, he took care of a tree that was uh, in the backyard that was kind of peeling itself away and tearing down the neighbor's fence. We, When it got close to almost tearing down part of our house, I figured it was time to call him. So he uh, he came over and took care of our problem for us. So 
he does. They were in and out of there in no time. It, I mean, you look around, it didn't even look like they were there except for the trees gone. <laughs> We do have some new sponsors on board starting next week. I spoke to him tonight. He was in the building and uh, gave Dave another call. But Dave Cruder, Dave's Rota Bowling, and Brian Himmler, they're going to tag team on it the next five weeks. They are going to. Brian did show up and bowl tonight, so it was good to see him. I think he bowled over at Gilmore today. They had a sweeper at Gilmore this afternoon. Where they had a great turnout over there today. Uh, and a lot of the proceeds went to uh, the Pierron family and uh, all the lineage went to the Pierron family. So that was just a, an awesome thing you guys did over there. Awesome that everybody came to show up for it and, and come over and bowl and support the, the sweeper, first of all, and, and the Pierron family. So um, I'm sure it's much appreciated and it was, it was pretty awesome for everyone to be part of it. And, uh, so I think Brian started over there. I think he bowled today over there. And then uh, hung around for a couple hours and then made the trip over. So uh, Mitch got here from, uh, he beat Kyle Cook in the round of four. And uh, Matt Stanager bowled Allie Hosier. And Allie had been on fire all night. The lefty's been pulling great. Um, she had front seven in and, and the round of eight, I believe. And then she, she got in that round of four, and around, had a little trouble getting started. Uh, and Matt threw first four or five, so yeah, that's uh, that's what Matt does. But still, a great night by both of uh, Kyle and Allie. Uh oh, it's an unforced error there. So you've been getting out and about and watching some of these different tournaments, and uh, actually. Yeah. Uh, I was I lived in the bowling eye for so long. <laughs> yeah. So many years bowling and just wanted to come out and check out the young talent that Cincinnati's got. There's a lot of it. A lot. I witnessed it tonight. That's great to see today. Well, we'll try to do whatever we can to keep it rolling. Keep He's the a fantastic job. Fantastic appreciate it. Job. Yeah, or, or well, I can't ball like these guys can, so it's a whole lot of fun to sit back and run it and let them do it and watch the scores. I'm sure you had a pretty good night talking to some of the guys that were here tonight, bringing up some old, some old stories and old. Say that looked looked pretty good off his hand. <laughs> and he's just doing it with one hand. Again, the Thames boys, the two-hander. He was here bowling tonight, and he got to watch him a little bit. And Brian Aldridge's boy, the two-hander, and he I actually thought he had a really good look all night long. He just much must have caught a tough pair, but. Matt's throwing a different ball in either lane. Yeah. Yeah, Sam. Sam's been here for a month now. He's going to be coming every week for a month. Amazing, amazing bowler at 10 years old. Big old high back swing. And a complete ball of energy, that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> His, uh, his name will be said a lot. A lot. Uh, a whole lot. Travels from Connorsville to come in to bowl every week. And thanks to him and thanks to his dad, Richard, for bringing him in. And uh, at first I was a little hesitant about having a 10-year-old come in and bowl the sweeper. I just didn't know if it was the right platform. But you know what? He's uh, <laughs> definitely made himself right at home. Yeah. The time's been in a, in a final match here. 
I'd be shocked. I think he's cashed for his uh, smart account. He won't be able to see that for a long time because it's for college money. But since he's only 10, it's going to, if it draws interest, he might be able to, you know, pay for his whole college on it. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he's, he cashes every week. He gets into the, I think he got to the round of eight one time, but he's been in the round of 16 twice. And the other week he had a, he had a tough week. So, yeah, he, uh, he's got a good attitude about it and. You said at 10 years old, I think I was still picking flowers out in the outfield playing baseball. They haven't even thought about bowling. I was coming to watch my dad when I was 10 years old and begging him for quarters to go play the video games all night, but I never even considered bowling at that point in my life. And this guy's been, he's already been bowling for five years. I think he start, said he started bowling when he was five. I'd imagine there'll be some coaches that'll keep their eye on that kid and, and they'll, uh, they'll grasp him up pretty early. Ball just got there a little late. Two bad breaks and one, basically. I'm going to turn this into a pretty close match right now. I was about to say that we have some pretty bouncy pins and some pretty bouncy back plates, and I wouldn't be surprised to see that made in one of these, but you got to get one to get two, I guess, right? Exactly. So Matt, Matt can put together a double here. I believe he's throwing a game breaker three on the right lane, and it looks like a hammer rip solid on the left lane. Mitch, I believe, is throwing urethane, so. <laughs> Let that one get away from him. And this pair is going to be playing a little different. I use it in qualifying. I use it through one round of the of the round of 32 tonight, and then we leave it set. We don't use it the rest of the night. So it's going to be a little fresher. It's going to play a little tighter. So it makes these guys, you know, have to move right off the bat. So um, definitely does play a little different from the pairs that they came off of and pair to pair you know in any tournament they're going to play differently but yeah, I watch it. Pretty much the same setup every week. Uh, when we get to the round of 32, if we cut to that high, I spread them through every lane that we bowled, and then I just kind of leave the middles alone until we get towards the end. And leave 17 to 22 for the final four in the finals. You gonna roll it? You gonna roll it? That's that's a strike. Not sure if that qualifies as a scout. I'm not sure what we call that. It's a strike. <laughs> no, Matt, we were Matt, we were trying to decide what to qualify that is because we can't call it a scout. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> enough for a strike. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point, Matt made. I'm surprised the scoring caught that in time. I mean, that would have been a nine. Never a doubt. <laughs> Never a doubt. Another thing I've noticed tonight watching these guys and when the ball was off, all the different bowling balls that are out there. Man, the, you, you can buy one based on color. You can buy one on how they smell. Uh, you can buy them uh, pretty much anything you want to buy. Uh, yeah, no, I know. Just, I just turned that up a little. Jeff, I turned the mic up over there on Greg a little bit. Hopefully it's a little better on that side. And that 
that's a good shot. He's throwing a different ball. He's throwing a different ball in either lane too, I think. These guys are just mixing it up on us. But yeah, there's there's so many bowling balls that bowling ball comes out every other week it seems like and you know the, the companies have to stay together with everybody and and kind of but it's all good equipment it's just a matter of who you like what you like um, you can't go wrong with anything that's on the market anymore they're all strong aggressive all balls pins, that's right Yep, he liked that one off his hand. That was a big shot right there for him. It gives him a five pin lead. A lot of power. Mm hmm. So Mitch is sitting at 150 in the eighth. Matt's 125 in the seventh with a double. So here we go into the tenth frame. This is a, this is a key shot nice right here. Yep. It's kind of matches you like to see in the finals mm -hmm. for sure. Got that one in. Yep, I, I heard him holler when he let it go. All that's in. This one's going down the last last frame. Yep. I'm pretty sure he will spare this one up. Disappointed in himself in that pitch. All right, pretty much no matter. Pretty much he's pin count. He wants to at least get seven pins here. It's going to force Mitch to throw the first one. Don't go five or six through the middle. Yeah. Tony the cut tonight was uh, Tony the cut tonight was five seventy eight, buddy. Great shot there. It forces him to throw the first one of the ten. Well, Mitch needs a first strike. Having to throw Having a strike, throw strike yeah. win. good feeling, especially when you let it go and you know it's, you know it's close. Yes. Got a feeling this will be close. I agree. Good yeah, Great that's shot. pretty close. <laughs> Great pressure shot. The Mitch is about one year or so out of youth leagues. Uh, he bowls over on the east side. The kid's got a lot of game, that's for sure. A lot. I saw a lot of talent tonight. A lot of talent tonight. Bowling's alive and well in Cincinnati. Yep, everybody pay attention to the uh, upcoming event we got August 22nd with the uh, Philadelphia Hitmen coming in. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, That's going to be a lot of strikes thrown that night. We've got a ball demo beforehand, and then we get two matches, best of seven matches against two Cincinnati sniper teams we put together, and that's going to be a blast. It's going to be a fun night. Plus, it is my birthday, so oh, that's really? going to be a good night, so good, good birthday here. present having these yeah. guys coming in. 199 to 194. Good match. That's, a, that's an excellent match. So. I would like to uh, thank you, Greg, for coming in tonight, oh, and hanging time. out with us tonight. Anytime. Uh, definitely it. was a lot of fun, and hopefully you got to catch up with some of the guys and see them. And I think I heard you and Joe making some lunch plans to hang out tomorrow afternoon, so that's cool. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely good to see everyone tonight. Um, we'll be back out there next, uh, next week on Sunday. I'll have the vote out on Wednesday to decide what kind of pattern we want to bowl on next week. And uh, be looking forward to that. And we get more people voting every week, and that's always a good sign. That means we're going to have a lot of people showing up to bowl. 
Uh, so we, we'll keep throwing that out there. Everybody seems to appreciate that. And uh, we'll see everybody next Sunday. Thanks again, Greg. All right. Thank you, Todd. All right. Bye-bye. Your account was better down the center of the house than down. Seven and eight was my best. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, now.